How's it going everyone? As I mentioned yesterday, in fact, the PlayStation Store is running a gigantic spring sale has dropped just now. It is officially live, might take a little while for it to appear on the PlayStation Store, but uh, by the time you guys are watching this video, chances are it is live. Ton of discounts, ton of late uh, new releases discounted as well, some deep discounts on uh, titles from last year as well, so a lot to go over. Let's get right into it and let's talk about all of the deals. Right off the top, I see Destiny 2 Lightfall, which just came out 33% off for $33.49. The Lifefall and Annual Pass is 25% off for $75. I have a buddy that's super into Destiny 2, and uh, he hasn't th thought too highly about Lifefall, to be perfectly honest. He told me that he's still got to play a little more. I'm not big into Destiny 2 these days anymore, obviously, but um, yeah, if you have been eager to check out Lifefall, seeing any kind of discount on it, given the fact that it just came out like a month ago, that is pretty substantial, so nice to see that being on sale. Right off the top, also see The Last of Us Part 1. Kind of wish this saw a deeper discount. 29% off for $49.69. Can we not get this at the $40 range at this point? It just came out on PC. PC version is kind of an abomination, but uh, nevertheless, $50 for that. Like, Last of Us 1 is a tremendous game, and I love it as a game. Uh, there is a premium trial available, and I guess there is a ton of momentum in Last of Us as an IP, given that the HBO series has been so well-received. No, I have not watched it. I know that is probably, like, blasphemy to some of you. You, uh, given how highly it is thought of, but nevertheless, I've played through Last of Us like 85 times, so it's like, you know, I don't really have a desire to see it in rendition of a television show, but I will play through it uh, once again. Horizon Forbidden West on sale as well. I mean, it's $30 for the PS4 version, which is upgradable to the PS5 version. Bear in mind, it is in PlayStation Plus Extra, so that's probably the way I would recommend you to play it. And also do bear in mind that Burning Shores does come out next month, so if you have been, you know, still playing through it maybe finish it up and then burning shores takes place after you complete the main story so you have to complete the entirety of the main story and then you'll get a call on your focus as aloy and uh, that'll embark you on the burning shores expansion so if you are planning to check that out, make sure you complete Forbidden West by the release of uh, uh, Burning Shores. Gotham Knights, 60% off for $28. Gotta say, that's a pretty decent price for Gotham Knights. I was pretty mixed about the game. I did a review of my Nightwing playthrough back when this game came out, and I had a lot of criticisms towards the game. Obviously, maybe I'm a broken record with it. Probably am. 30 frames per second for a game that looks as mid as Gotham Knights does, just not acceptable in that regard, but I did enjoy the gameplay. There's a ton of content to go through. I like the idea of all of these different characters that you can play through as, and uh, it does add some replayability to the game, and the narrative is pretty compelling as well. $28, I think, is a good price for it, so, you know, I've been eager to check it out. Maybe that's a price point you would want to pick it up at. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, 20 bucks for that. Need for Speed Unbound, 50% off for 35 Given that that just came out back in December, I guess 35 is an okay price, but I foresee that going, uh, you know, cheaper and cheaper. I could see easily sub 20 bucks by summer period, and it will ultimately be added to EA Access if you are subscribed to that. GTA 5 Premium Edition, 34% off for $19.79. Stray, 20% off for $24. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, 20% off for $40. Okay price on that. I really enjoyed Crisis Core, but it is a PSP game remastered. If you were that big of a Final Fantasy fan, you probably picked it up day one and if you have been waiting i would probably say at this point wait for a deeper discount you know wait for it to get to that 30 dollars range and it might be you know more of a compelling pickup at that point red dead redemption 2 67 percent off for 1979 you guys know it's coming we need a ps5 upgrade for that i say it every time when we talk about rdr2 but man what a fantastic game just need that ps5 upgrade more than i need air in my lungs but nevertheless 1979 for that is a really good pickup what else we got? Witcher 3 Wild Hunt got that jacked up price point on that, baby. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is $20 for the base game. Complete Edition isn't even on sale. Remember, I should have mentioned this at the top, there will be a second wave of the spring sale in two weeks. So, you know, like they did last year, they have these deals that went up right now, and then come two weeks from now, a new wave of deals will cycle in. Would I have to imagine the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition will be a part of that second wave, so be on the lookout for that. I wouldn't pick up the base game ever for Witcher 3, just get the Complete Edition when it does go on sale. Dying Light 2 Stay Human, that is 50% off for $29.99. I enjoyed Dying Light 2, definitely not as much as Dying Light 1, but still a decent game, and for 30 bucks, I think it's a pretty good pickup. That does have a plus premium trial available. Disney Dreamlight Valley, 25% off for $29.99. 
$22.49. That is the early access uh, of that game. There's a premium trial for that as well if you do want to check that out. No Man's Sky at $30. Okay, price on that. VR2 component uh, added to that as well. Sifu, 40% off for $24. Not a bad buy on that, all things considered. Sifu's a pretty challenging game. It just got a major update in the Arena's expansion, so a lot more content added to that. Metal Hellslinger. Nice discount on that. 25% off uh, if you're not a Plus subscriber. 35% off with your Plus subscription, so not bad on that. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands for 30 bucks. I would say wait for this to get cheaper, and I'm surprised it hasn't gotten cheaper. And this is the PS4 version of the game, by the way. The next level edition is, isn't even on sale at this point. The Chaotic Great Edition, however, is. I would imagine the next level edition will go on sale in Wave 2, but um, yeah, I would say wait for that to be substantially uh, cheaper. Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord discounted to $35. DB Fighters Ultimate Edition $38.49. Seems quite pricey on that. $110 is the base price, though, for the Ultimate Edition. So, uh, yeah, you take what you can get with these uh, fighting games and all that additional content. So, I guess it's an okay pickup. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Gold Edition, $25. That's a pretty good pickup, even though, you know, I'm not big on Assassin's Creed these days, as I'm sure you guys have uh, heard me beat a dead horse about that at this point. But um, Odyssey is the one that everybody seems to really enjoy if you do like the new style of Assassin's Creed game. And the Gold Edition includes a ton of bonus stuff. So, that is definitely the version you want to pick up. Mortal Kombat 10 for 5 bucks, not a bad deal there. What else we got? AC Origins at 15 Ghostwire Tokyo at $21. Remember, the Spiders update is coming for that, so that's going to be something to check out, and uh, it is available on Plus Extra, so you can play it that way. A Way Out for $6 is a great buy. Borderlands 3 at $9. Batman Arkham Collection at $5.99. Why is Arkham Knight Premium Edition $7.99, and why is the Arkham Collection $5.99? What are we doing here? But uh, yes, Arkham Collection for $6 is fantastic. If you never play the Batman Arkham games, you should slap yourself, and then you should buy this immediately, because the Batman Arkham games are fantastic, and uh, even Arkham Asylum and Arkham City being, you know, Gen, what would it, is it Gen 7, you know, the PS3 360 era, being games from the, I think that's Gen 6, oh, whatever, who cares, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City are still hold up really, really well, great gameplay, great narratives, and I'm not a big DC guy, not, I wasn't a big Batman guy before I played these games, and I watched, like, the Dark Knight movies and whatnot, but, um, yeah, Arkham Collection is fantastic, and all those games for $6, no-brainer there. Outer Worlds for $19.79. Uh, that won't get you the PS5 upgrade, so bear that in mind if you do pick that up. Soul Hackers 2 is 50% off for $30. Wish that was a little bit cheaper at this point. Like, it would be nice to get it for, like, $19.99 or even $24, bucks, like 60% off. But really enjoyed that JRPG. Great main character, great soundtrack as well, so... Uh, not a bad pickup there. My Hero Wants Justice 2 Deluxe Edition, $19.99. New Tales from Borderlands is at $20. Tales of Arise, 67% off for sub-$20. bucks. 19 dollars on that is really, really good. Love Tales of Arise, in my opinion. You know, it does take Tales of to the next level from a technical standpoint, and I really enjoyed it. Um, narrative is relatively compelling. I didn't like the cast of characters as strongly as I like, say, Abyss or Vesperia, but it's still pretty good, and the main characters are pretty likable as well. Nineteen seventy nine, good price on that. Definitely give that a strong recommendation. Castle Crash is remastered at $6. Great deal on that. Little Nightmares 2 at $9.89. Very good pickup there. Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Collection, $11.99. That's all three Assassin's Creed uh, 2 titles with Ezio. Great pickup there. It is available in Plus Extra. Middle Earth Shadow of War Definitive Edition, $8.99. Now, Shadow of War, the base game, is available on Plus Extra. The Definitive Edition is uh, only available if you do buy it outright, but 9 bucks for that is great. Mafia Definitive Edition is at $14. Not a bad buy there. I uh, really liked it. It's a shorter game, but, you know, sometimes, as I say, we like these shorter games, and Mafia Definitive Edition definitely offers you that. Alan Wake Remastered at $13.49. Great buy there. Definitely, as we get closer to the release of Alan Wake 2, uh, not a bad time to check out Alan Wake Remastered for sure. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, $12. You know, if you're a SpongeBob fan, it's a quality platformer, so go check that out. Soul Calibur 6 at $9. What else we got? South Park The Fraction But Hold $12.49. That is available at Plus Extra. Assassin's Creed Syndicate 70% off for $9. That game just got fixed on PS5. Not a PS5 upgrade, but it's not, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have the visual bugs anymore. So $9 for that is quite good. Love Syndicate. Think it's super underrated game. Is available through Plus Extra. Disco Elysium The Final Cut. Got a significant discount on this. If you're a Plus subscriber, you'll save 65% and it'll be down to $13.99. By far the cheapest we've seen Disco Elysium for. Great price there. Strong recommendation. Great narrative driven game. A lot of decision making. More of a mature, gritty story there. Um, a shame what's going on with the developments studio, and, uh, yeah, that situation's just very unfortunate, but, uh, yeah, this Coliseum is a great game, and I would say go pick it up if you're into story-driven titles.
Killing Floor 2 is at $7.49. Scarlet Nexus at $15 is great. That is available on Plus Extra, but fantastic JRPG there. Risk of Rain 2 at $6.24 is a banger of a deal. That is an awesome deal, especially if you can get a couple buddies to pick it up. That is a great co-op title. Very addictive. Even if you play it solo, it's enjoyable. Definitely give that a strong recommendation. Metal Gear Solid 5, the definitive experience, 80% off for $4. No-brainer there. Great pickup. Sonic Mania, 50% off for $9.99. Not a bad buy there. Generation Zero at, I believe it would be $8.99 with the additional 10% off if you're a Plus subscriber. Pretty decent deal there. That's a game that's been updated quite a bit. Judgment on PS5 for $16 is really good. That does have a, um, uh, it is in Plus Extra. That's what I'm trying to say. It's in Plus Extra, so you can play it that way. Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year, 75% off for $5. Castlevania Requiem Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood, $4 for that is nuts. Go check that out. Uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm, a trilogy. That's everything outside of Storm 4 Road to Boruto. Pretty good. Storm 1, 2, and 3. If you already have Storm 4, maybe you played it through while it was in Plus Extra. Storm Trilogy is not a bad buy. Anthem Standard Edition, $5 on that. That's actually been cheaper. It's been down to like 2 bucks. so... You know, take that for what you will. Neon White, 20% off for $19.99. That's a great game. Not a significant discount, but recently dropped on PS4 and 5, so, you know, not expecting that to be super cheap. Hitman HD Collection, $24 on that. Still seems so pricey to me. Like, let's be real. That collection should be, like, sub $10. Like, I, I know that might be me being a little greedy. Like, be like, yo, sell that game to me sub 10 bucks. But, yo, it's blood money and absolution. Those games are so old. Um, and I'll look at it right here. Bioshock the Collection is $9.99. If Bioshock the Collection is $9.99, bruh, Hitman HD Enhanced Collection should be $8.99, $9.99 as well. So, uh, yeah. But Bioshock the Collection, 10 bucks for that is great. So, uh... Yeah, a lot of great deals available. Dishonor 2 for $6. Skyrim VR for $19.79. Remember, v not VR 2 backwards compatible. Rayman Legends at $4 is great. Wolfenstein 2 The New Claws at $6. That's a ridiculous deal. Burnout Paradise uh, Remaster at not, uh, $6. That's great. Disguise 6 Complete is on sale. 43% off for $39.89. That did come out at $70. So, uh, yeah, take that for what you will. Yakuza Remastered for $14. A ton of really solid deals. And I'm on page 9 of 64. And that's the full games, not the DLC. 64 pages. So, I'll have to, you know, spend some time looking through the entirety of the sale. But already seeing a lot of great stuff. Check it out for yourself. Definitely some stuff to pick up if you're interested. Remember, come two weeks, there should be, uh, like, a recycle of new wave of sales. Also, also see Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series, 50% off for $19.99. Excellent deal there. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.